Good morning, guys. I'm sitting down to have breakfast before I go to work. Oh, that coffee is so good. I don't mean to slurp, but it's hot. So, you know, you kind of have to go, you know. So, anyway, hope you guys are having a good morning. I'm having a bagel and an egg again. Cinnamon bagel. I don't think it's right. Yeah, it's raisin. Cinnamon raisin. Sorry. Rude. Talking my mouth full. Some mornings I get up, I just want coffee. No one other than else. And then other mornings, I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, I know. So, anywho. There's that. Drinking out my Grinch cup this morning. This is Merry Christmas. Then it has the Grinch on this side. I love this one. Y'all know I love the Grinch. I'm a Grinch fan. My son and daughter-in-law bought that for me last Christmas. They bought me the cup. And they bought me the movie. They set me up, man. They set me up. So anyway... It's Monday again. You know, sometimes you're just like, oh, could the weekend last a little longer, please? Mm-hmm. Got my ears lowered. I just, all I did was get the cut over my ears. Because I can't stand it when it's not over my ears. It just really drives me crazy. So I got cut over my ears like this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's neither here nor there. I like my hair out to my face when I work. I can't stand it when it's just bugging me. Or tickling my ear. When it gets down to here, it starts tickling my ear. It's like, oh, uh-uh. No, 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 no. Can't have that. I don't look too hot this morning, though, does it? Kind of looks like it's been butchered. Mm -hmm. I did it. I always trim. And then my hairdresser says, Why do you insist on doing that? I think that's a little bit too much bread. So I'm going to try to eat it like this. I'll make a mess. Well, guys, as I was saying, today is Monday, just another day that God has made, so we should rejoice and be glad in it, because we could be dead. You know what I'm saying? I know, that was a little blunt, wasn't it? But it's truth. God granted us another day, so we should say we praise you for that, Lord, and we're going to make the best of today, because you gave this day to us, and we're going to do what we can do. And we're going to do what we can do to glorify you. And if we should chance across someone, we need to witness and tell them just how good God is. And, and, and help them find Christ. Because you know what? Jesus is coming soon. That's fact, Jack. Ma'am, this is good this morning. I wish all you guys were sitting in front of me having an egg with me. Egg and a bagel. Cinnamon raisin bagel. I have plain bagels over there. I don't like them as well. They're okay. But if I have cinnamon, I'm going to eat the cinnamon bagel first. I know probably all that bread's not good for me. But hey, our girl's got to have some energy, right? Speaking of which, I need to take a vitamin before I go. Like I told y'all, I haven't been feeling well lately. I've just been feeling drained. Not to mention that my sinuses are acting a fool. And I just haven't felt well. So, having said that, I definitely need some vitamins.
And at my age, I guess I need to get those silver. Is it called silver vitamins? Silver tab or something like that for the elderly women. I mean, since I'm 57 years old. I think I need... I need an old lady pill, okay? That's what I need. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Okay, enough of that. I have about 10, 15 minutes before I have to go. I might even do an outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. What do I wear to work? I'll show you in a minute. Oh, that's so good. Mm, cannot tell you how good that coffee is this morning. Y'all ever just rise and shine, and the first thing you're like, oh, I need some coffee. You know, everybody needs coffee. Air, everybody, everybody, everybody needs coffee. A lot of people don't drink coffee. A lot of people drink Coke for breakfast. Hey, whatever, whatever suits your fancy, right? Woo, well, guys. I'll do an outfit of the day here in just a second, and then we're going to mosey on to work after I clean up a little, a few dishes. I like my kitchen to be clean when I leave. My husband gets home before I do. He works 12-hour shifts. I work 16. And when he gets home, I keep looking at that. I'm not, I'm sorry, guys, but that's just really irritating me. But anyway, when he gets home, I always tell him to put your dirty dishes, rinse them off, put them in the dishwasher. So that way the next two days, today and tomorrow, I have a clean kitchen. Because for all you newcomers, which thank you for subscribing. I love you guys. For all you newcomers, uh, Monday and Tuesday I work 16 hour shifts. My husband works 12. So when he comes home, he'll fix him something to eat. And I always tell him, put your dishes in the dishwasher. So that way, rinse them off, put them in the dishwasher. That way, when I come home at midnight, the kitchen's clean. And what I used to do is get me a glass of milk, take a shower, and go to bed because it's midnight. Well, by the time I get home, it's after midnight. And so that way, when I get up the next morning to fix our lunches, the kitchen's clean. And I don't have to stare at dirty dishes because I just hate a dirty kitchen. So anyway, he does that sometimes. Sometimes he'll set a bowl in the sink, but hey. Pick battles, right? What's bowl? People are starving of hunger and dying without God, and I'm going to be worried about a bowl in the sink. I know. I know. So anyway, some, most of the time he does, sometimes he doesn't. So, sorry. Ugh. See what I mean? Allergies, you just, ugh. It's like, I got, I guess, I, 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 and then it stops. And when it stops, that really gives you a headache because it, it don't come out, you know? It's like. Ugh. Anyways, as I was saying, as I was saying, nothing important, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, so we're not going to stress over a bowl or a glass or whatever, but most of the time, my, my, my kitchen is pretty well clean when I come home. So, right now, there's dishes over there from me from last night. I've washed them, but I put them on, you know, the drying pad, let them dry. So, now I just need to put them away before I have to go. And then we'll do an outfit of the day, and then I'll see you guys in the car. So, see you in a bit. Here's outfit of the day, my scrubs, um, my shoes, just regular tennis shoes. I got these on sale at um, Target, clearance rack for 10 bucks, the shoes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, jacket is my company jacket. Has the comp my company name on the back. If it's colder, I'll be going to a bigger one, but for right now, this is the outfit of the day for Outfit work Monday. How's that? Out. Okay, guys, we are in the car ready for work. Ready to go to work. I should come start in my car and let it heat up because it's kind of chilly this morning. It's supposed to get up to 50 or uh, 60. It's going to say 50, but when I looked at it a while ago, it said the high is 60. So. Which here, it could be 60 degrees and feels like 40. I mean, this Arkansas weather is um, just, just, you know. I don't know why that keeps going in and out. 
Let's see, don't hit my bird feeder. Instead of going down, turn around, I'm turning around in the middle of my driveway. I shouldn't be doing that because I don't want to get ruts in my ruts in my grass in my you know, in my yard. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be one of them days. No, it's gonna be a good day because I called it. In the name of Jesus, I'm having a good day today. We are having a good we're having a good day today, okay? I called it for you guys too. I am calling it. We're having a good day. This week, let's talk about this week. What are y'all doing this week? Just working or some of you may have schedules like I have. I don't know. Um, this week on the agenda. This is Thanksgiving week, okay? And so I have taken off for Friday. Um, well, I put in PTO time. I get paid like if I want to take off, you know, you build hours and y'all know how that works. PTO, pay time off. So I put in for Friday. So I'm on Friday because that's when we're going to Branson. Um, so I'm working today and tomorrow. And then Wednesday is the Johnson Family Golf Tournament. Um, it's not a tournament. We just, we, this, that's the day that all the Johnsons get together, play golf, and we bring the grandkids, the kids, the grandkids, all of them. And I must say, just, just about all the, the kids and the grandkids play pretty good golf, um, because they've been coming with us all this time. But this is when just something we can do together and have a, have a good time. And we choose golf because all the Johnson men play golf, of course. Because y'all know most of the time when I'm like by myself, I tell you, because it's on the golf course. But anyway, so Wednesday is our annual Johnson golf game. And then Thursday is Thanksgiving. And hubby and I, all our kids, you know, they have their own families and things going on. And hubby and I, of course, are leaving early Friday morning, so there will be no cooking at my house. All the kids will be cooking and all of that. But hubby and I have decided just to stay home, cook deer steak, mashed potatoes, have our own little feast at the house, pack, because I'm going to have to pack. And then we're leaving out early Friday morning for Branson, which is Black Friday. So when we get there, we're going to do shopping on Black Friday and then Friday night we're going to a show and what I mean a show is y'all remember me talking about Samson um, when we went to the, the gigantic theater in Branson and we watched Samson which was live it was all people that had live animals in there it, it was most awesome actually okay well t uh, this this month is and next month is the Christmas story. And the Christmas story, they only play it like every two years, every three years. I don't know, it must be a big deal to get it all together. Um, because it's live. Again, it, it's not, a, it's live, it's live animals, people, and people, from what I hear, the angels will be flying over your head. It's pretty cool. Can't wait to see it. I haven't seen the Christmas story yet. Actually, I've only seen Samson, and that one just rocked out of the ballpark. That was just most awesome. So anyway, um, so Wednesdays, the family golf, Thursday, hubby and I are going to stay home, cook, eat, and pack, and Friday, we're headed out, and of course, we're going with friends, we're going with another couple, so we're heading to Branson, and we will be in Branson Friday and Saturday, we'll stay the night Friday night, Saturday, and we're going to come home Saturday evening, I believe. I think is what we decided. First, we were going to stay till Sunday, but I kind of want to get home, get unpacked, get settled in, and um, go to church. I hate missing church, so I would like to get back on Saturday so we can go to church on Sunday and get back in the routine uh, because, of course, I have to go back to work on Monday. So there, there's that. So anyway, that's our rundown for the week. It's going to be a pretty busy week. <coughs> After Monday and Tuesday, which Monday and Tuesday is busy because y'all can't see me, can y'all? Um, 
this is why I don't vlog a lot on the way to work anymore because of the sun and the way it is. I could put you over here on this side, but I don't know. That's not my good side, see? That's not my good side. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here because the sun, you can't see me anyway. And you guys, I want to hear what you guys are doing this week, Thanksgiving week. Comment down below and tell me what all you guys are doing for Thanksgiving week and for Thanksgiving. Because I would love to hear from all my little peeps. I want to say to all my new subscribers, I am ecstatic you decided to stop by my channel and stick around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you for all my mainstays. Oh, you subbies are just everything to me. I just love you guys for, for hanging around as long as you have. And um, I appreciate you. And we are going to talk again about this FTC COPPA thing. I talked a little bit about it before. We're going to talk about it again. But I think... I think I got it fit. I, I think I've got it pretty well fixed. I've gone through not all my videos. Shoot, I spent half a day yesterday going through my videos and marking them, but I still have half or a little bit over half left or under half left of my videos. And um, a couple of them I just deleted. Those videos you will not see anymore because they actually had um, Hunter in them and and the. I, I just went ahead and, and, and deleted them. And I hate to say this, but for all my subbies who love to see Hunter, I don't think you're going to be seeing him anymore. Um, if I do show him, of course, I have to mark it uh, made for kids. And of course, when you mark it made for kids, your video was only seen, I guess, if they come across it because it's not advertised. It's not anything. So... Um, but that's okay if you, I mean, you know, because I don't, I love my little hunter, y'all know, and my little Riley and Kaylin, and I haven't even showed y'all Kaylin. Kaylin's down. I haven't even got to let y'all see Kaylin, and I don't know if you're going to. Um, from now on, I think, if you want to see my grandkids, for those, and I love you guys for always asking about my grandkids, and where's Hunter, I want to see Riley, and you know, I love you guys for that. But for those of you, um, from now on out, if you want to see my grandkids, go to my Instagram. I will post Instagram pictures of my grandkids there. And may even do a little video there. Because I think, I'm not real sure how Instagram works, but I think you can do a little short video or whatever. So, anyway, my Instagram page is where I do my outfits of the day, most of the time. And it's where I will be showing my grandkids because of this FTC COPPA thing. I'm going to try to, on YouTube, stick straight to get ready with me, the makeup, get ready with me, the fashion, the, um, I will be doing, um, shopping with me and all of that, but it's, it's, I'm, I'm going to have to be very careful, okay? And I'm not even one that probably shoot, I mean, I don't have half as many subscribers as everybody else does. And I am not one of the big dogs on YouTube, and I definitely am not making any money off of YouTube. I do it because I enjoy it. But, having said that, I don't want somehow my video pop up and I get caught doing something I'm not supposed to do. Like, you know, not putting made for kids, and then you have your kids on there, and, you know. I think they said it's like $24,500 fine. fine. If you're busted um, and they said they have some kind of machine that randomly picks you know that's why I said I mean I am nothing to worry about but still I still have to comply with the rules and the regulations and it's not even YouTube it's the government that we're having to comply with okay so there's a little squirrel Hunter calls them squirrels but anyway having said that guys I think I've got it figured out and I'm gonna just have to walk the line and watch what I put on here. I can't just slap my grandkids on here anytime I want to for y'all to see. So y'all have to go to Instagram for that if you want to see my grandkids. Which they're just precious. Who doesn't want to see my grandkids? I mean, really. So anyway, I'm off of here. I'm on my way to work. Um, I'm going to ski daddle and I will talk to you guys in the morning. guys I'm on my way to pick up my mother to take her shopping and take her out for Thanksgiving dinner um, we were gonna go where she where she lives they have a Thanksgiving dinner thing but they don't have it till 
it's it like starts at 5 30 but they don't think they start feeding people till 6 30 and mom can't eat late and plus she needs to go shopping so i'm just going to take her shopping take her out to eat and um, that's what she wanted anyway she said she'd rather do that than than eat there so anyway so that's what we're gonna do okay guys here's here's a question for you guys today what do y'all think about that about the YouTube the FTC and the COPPA I don't guys I'm a little I'm a, I'm, I'm a little mixed up but I'm also a little leery um, I seriously contemplated shutting down my YouTube channel last night just taking it all off and just be gone um, because I don't know how I don't know how to click it I mean it you know it said well you know for each video you have to ask yourself is it is it kid friendly um, you know but the, the rules that they have for kid friendly is a big wide direction but here's the thing and I don't mind putting marking my videos kid friendly but here's the thing even though I don't make money off of YouTube because let's face it I have what 230 followers um, I don't make money off of YouTube but it did but from what I understand if you market kid friendly then they won't suggest your videos to anybody um, people can't comment on your videos from what I'm getting I mean there's just a bunch of drawbacks for putting kid friendly and really all I'd be doing these videos for I guess would be for kids to watch and I don't I, I, I don't shoot for kids I'm shooting for adults you know I mean my channel is an adult channel so I thought about just putting you know I thought well what if I just market um, the op what was it kid friendly and then the other one is oh for, for mature for mature adults or whatever not kid friendly let's just say not kid friendly but from what I from what I was listening to on YouTube last night I was listening to several people talk about this and from what I was understanding on that you can't just say okay my my videos are not kid friendly and I'm just gonna just mark it the other the other way because if there is things on there that are kid friendly then you should have marked it kid friendly I don't know this is the most confusing thing ever guys and you know I am not that tech savvy so I don't know if I should just shut my YouTube channel down and say it's been fun uh, you know I mean I'm not doing it for the money I'm doing it because I enjoy it and I've met a lot of new friends a lot of you guys I've met so many friends here and there and everywhere and I love talking to you guys and um, corresponding with you guys but I just don't know what to do I mean they say if 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 they get you it's like what thirty two thousand dollar fine I don't remember now what it was it was way up there and like I don't have that in my bank account okay not even close so it's like what do I do I don't know I just don't know what to do if I mark them all kid friendly then you guys from what I understand are not gonna be able to comment you're not gonna know when I have a video up because it's not gonna it will not send out notifications if it's kid friendly <sighs> what do you do I mean guys I'm just I don't know what to do this thing is confusing and of course they're all saying this thing is very very um serious and they will find you it's like oh, i don't want to get fined you know i mean don't want to get fined i definitely don't want to get fined i don't have the money which you know and they're saying well you know this is a big deal and i feel for you guys that have big channels and that are making good money off of youtube i really feel for you guys because this is something that's serious and it's it's really just gonna basically shut you guys down and, and I, when I say that I don't mean shut you guys down like just take you off but you're gonna start losing some money and and I hate that for you guys I really do there's a lot of you guys I love to watch and you know but I just don't know what to do I, I don't like I said my channel's not very big but I don't want to mark my channel wrong either because they said you can't just go through there and say all right, all my videos are not kid friendly. Well, they're not. I mean, they are, but they're not. I mean, there's nothing you'll see. I don't curse on my channel. I don't drink on my channel. Coffee. Um, every once in a while, I have Hunter on there, but I'm not going to be able to do that anymore either. Hunter or Riley. 
um, or Kaylin or even Ryan, I, none of my grandkids I'm going to be able to put on there anymore. So, if I don't have them on there, so maybe that's not kid friendly, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of at a loss and I don't know whether I should shut this thing down and say it's been fun, it's been a good ride or not. So, if any of you guys understand this a little better, please comment below and tell me what you think because... I don't know I just this is just crazy you know and like I said I do this for fun I don't do this for a living because well I work for a living number one but number two I just I, I don't have the big of a channel I've had I've been on YouTube for probably four years maybe and I only have of course I didn't do it seriously either and I only have like 230 230 subscribers but you know I don't do it all the time as y'all know of course I have been trying to be diligent and put two up but now I'm going to have to be real careful of what I do what I put up and I just don't know I, I'm just at a loss so I just wanted to ask you guys what y'all thought because I don't know I just don't know so you guys comment below and tell me what you guys think okay guys I did a little uh, little blog today my eyes is that new palette I told y'all I bought the $3 palette and I only used two colors from it. That was the light one and the dark one and then of course I used my wet one paint pot for the top. And then lipstick I did, um, I think this is my Rimmel, the Rimmel, I can't remember what it's called. And then I, for lip, I did this one which is I think I got this off of Valley Express to tell you the truth. It's a little sticky, so I'm not real fond. North Glow, North Show, I don't know, something like that. And I like it. I love the color, but it's a bit sticky. So I put it on earlier and it stinks too. It smells, I don't know what to tell you. It smells, it smells like bug spray. That's what it smells like. So I know. Anyway, so anyway, I'm going to get off here. I'm headed to pick up mom. We're going to go shopping, and I'm going to take her out to eat, and I might take you guys with me, depending on how full the phone gets, okay? Because I did bring my camera, but I'm going to try to do it on the phone, so I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible, um, so I can maybe vlog when we get to wherever we're going. I think we're going to JCPenney, and we may even go to Ross's. I would like to go to Ross's, but we'll see. Good morning guys. Today's Friday. Again, Friday. It's Friday. Yay. It's Friday. You know. You know that song I do on Fridays. Yay. It's Friday. Yay. It's Friday. Anywho, I'm having a half of a peanut butter sandwich for my breakfast. Mm, with a touch of syrup. I don't normally do breakfast. Once in a while, I'll do my raisin, cinnamon raisin muffins, but this morning, this just sound good, and I didn't want to stop for a biscuit, so, a biscuit, I didn't want a biscuit this morning, so anyway, I'm eating peanut butter, and I'm having tea, I done had my coffee this morning, so I've done crossed over to the tea. It's rather cold. I need to turn my heat on. Goodness gracious. I code. Let's see. Top and bottom. Didn't even set my... I don't know what the temperature is today. I always look up there because I keep thinking I have a temperature thing up there and I don't. So I was like, like goofball. I don't know what the temperature is today. But it's cool. Very cool. Not freezing, but cool. Rainy. It's supposed to have rained and stormed all day yesterday. Well, it did kind of rain all day, off and on, but for the most part, it rained. And today, it's raining. Now, I don't know what the weather called for today. Like, did it call for rain today? I don't know. I'm not knowing that one. My hair looks like crap today, guys. I, Y'all ever have bad hair days? I mean, <laughs> is that just me? A bad hair day every day? Anyway, as I was saying, 
man, my husband put way too much. He fixed it for me. Way too much peanut butter. My gosh. That's how he likes his. Mm. I like the roof of my mouth. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. I told him. Don't do thick. My husband eats a peanut butter sandwich. He puts like that much peanut butter on the bread. I ain't lying. It's like, really? Mm. Anyway, I don't have a lot to say today. Um, uh, I took, y'all know I took mom to shopping yesterday. And um, I didn't vlog. My hands were kind of full with her. I mean, you know, I have to help her and stuff, so. But I did vlog on the way. And I'll vlog some this afternoon when I get off work. Um, again, y'all know today I'm only here there till four. Praise the Lord! And four o'clock just seems like nothing to me. I mean, it just seems like half a day. Well, it is half a day to me because I normally work 16 hour shifts, so I guess it really is half a day. I need to give me some little earrings, don't I? Some little bitty something, something. Anyway. Y'all, I always want to, I always mean to go buy me some earrings. Then when I get up there looking, it's like, eh, and I walk on. Then when I get home, it's like, I wish I'd bought me some earrings. I'm just weird that way. It's just how I roll. Okay, I'm going to get off of here. Um, eat, drive. And there's a car behind me who's probably hoping I would hurry up, speed up. But you just can't go too fast when it's been raining, you know. It's a little flick. Anyway, guys, I will catch you guys when I get to work. Bye. Okay, I'm in my car, and let's do a little Dollar Tree haul. It's not a big one. Baby powder. This baby powder I have found is just as good as regular baby powder. So, And my husband loves to put baby powder in his socks. For some reason, he says it helps his feet not sweat because he's on his feet all day. So, anyway, and I've tried it too, and it works just as well. This, I don't know if it's going to work as well. I forgot to go to Walmart and get deodorant, so I'll pick this up. Power stick. My husband's real picky about his deodorant, and so we'll see how this works. He'd probably send me back to Walmart because I'm pretty sure he's, he's not going to like that. And then... Sorry, I got hiccups. And then I'm going to try these eyelashes. I don't know if I'm going to like them or not, but I'm sure going to try them. I like the looks of them anyway. Who knows? Cheapos, but we'll see. And then they have this, and y'all know me and my, y'all know me and my, um, red truck theme. Isn't that cute? Love it. Coffee cup, coffee mug. And then, let me show you what they had. I didn't see this one when I got my, the one with the Santa belt. But look at this one. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Is that not adorable? So cute. And then I got an ink pen that is different colors, but it's in the house in my purse. I'm sitting outside in my car at the moment. I'm, I'm at work, my consumer's house, and... His sister smokes in the house, so it gives me a, such a bad headache. So I'm out here trying to get some air in my lungs and air my clothes out. I don't like my clothes to smell like an ashtray. I really don't. So anyway, just trying to get, get some air. So I thought, well, hey, I'm out here. I might as well just show you guys what I got at the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree haul. Guys, I bought a new um, palette, cheap one. Um, they had it on sale, and I bought it yesterday, and I'm wearing it, so I'll have to do a a video on it. Anyway, look, what do y'all think? Don't know, don't know. Hey guys, I'm going to do a little AliExpress haul. I got some things in. I told you I had a lot of stuff coming in, so... Let's do this, okay? Um, first off, make sure it came in a little package. Um, don't want to show you my address, but it came like this. Came in this, but I already took it out of that. I mean, you know. Here we go. I ordered a necklace and a matching bracelet. You know what I'm saying? 
They're so cute. Let's see. It's a chain with a ring in it, and it's very light. I know it looks heavy, but it is not heavy at all. Here we go. Matter of fact, I'll just put it on so y'all can see what it looks like. Yeah, I can wear it longer or shorter. At the moment, I want it shorter because I have my other necklace on. But anyway. Anyway. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Like this. It's hard for me to get stuff on with these stinging long nails. I cut my nails down, and they're still too long. But anyway, it looks like this. And then I bought a matching bracelet. And guys, these are so stinking light. I, I love the circle stuff. I just do. I always have. Sure, I thought, you know what? I, I'm going to need some of this. So let me just let me just pop this on so you guys can see it if I can get it on. Told you these nails are, I'm just not used to very real, real long nails. <laughs> anyway, I can get it tighter. Or I have to have my husband get it tighter than that, but. Isn't that cute? Just, I love it. I love it. And I think it looks good with my watch. Don't you think? Don't you think? Yeah. 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 Anyway, there's that. That came from AliExpress. Okay. And then another package from AliExpress. And I ordered some bracelets. Here we go. I ordered two of these because I wasn't sure which one I liked the best. They're get their uh, bracelets with guitars. This is a silver and this is the gold kind. Oh, uh, not gold. What do you call it? The copper, copper like. So let's just try one of them on, okay? So I can just share here what it looks like. I thought these were too stinking adorable. This is so my style too. How do you even open it? I don't even know. I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out after I tear it up trying to get it on. Oh, I see. I guess. I don't know how you get this on, guys, but we'll figure it out. Oh, okay. You put it on and then you tighten it like with this. I'm trying to figure this out, guys, as we go. Okay. Well, how do you get that on? Do you tighten it with this? Like that, and then if you do, then how do you get it on? I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out together, guys. We're trying to figure this out. You put it on, and then you tighten it with this. But at the moment, I can't do it with one hand. I'll have to have my husband help me, and then I guess you just wrap it back around again. Anyway, isn't that cute? That's just my style when I figure out how to put the stupid thing on. Anyway, there's that. And then, of course, like I said, I ordered another one that is rose rose gold. That's what I was trying to say. Rose gold. Rose gold. Rose gold. And it looks... Excuse me. I call me. It looks like this. It looks like this one. The rose gold. And I'm just pretty sure that's how that goes. Is... You loosen it and then um, and then you tighten it, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I buy this stuff and don't even. Oh, okay, okay. That's how you do it. That's that's how you do it. You pull it through like this. You pull. Okay, and then my phone died again. My phone will not let me do a complete video. It did, and now it don't. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. I need a new phone. Black Friday, I need a new phone. All right, here it is. It just fastens right here. It clips, and it has a little tassel on it. And just cute. Just cute. I have a bunch of these. I have a blue one. Not necessarily like this, but I have it. It's wider. I just like the big cuffs. I just think they're cute. So anyway, there's that from AliExpress. And that is it so far, guys, that I got from AliExpress. I just, as they come in, I like to show you what I get. I ordered some watch bands for this watch, this particular watch, that go to this particular watch and um, my smartwatch. And they're not in yet. 